So you're setting up a new WordPress site and you want to allow other people to register. You've been logging in with your admin account and you want another way for people to register to do things like access a forum or communicate with you in a blog or register for events, all kinds of things. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up WordPress so anyone can register. We'll go through the first route, which is using WordPress's default built-in registration and the next version, which is using a membership plugin. So this is a basic WordPress demo site I set up using a local development tool. You know, the same would be true of any WordPress site. The things we're showing here are all basic WordPress settings. So this is my site. I'm going to access the WP login area, which is where I would log in as admin to get to the back end of my WordPress site. Uh, you'll see here, this is the default WordPress login screen. Uh, you'll see you can enter your email address and password to log in. I can also go through password reset but I can't register. There's no other way to register on my site. So let me log into the admin and I'll show you where in the site you can adjust settings so that anyone can register. So this is found in WordPress under settings general. And there's a lot of settings on the screen. The thing we're looking at here is this field called anyone can register. If we check this box, we'll also confirm the default role, which is when these people register to the site. What is their access? What are their capabilities? What are they allowed to do in the site? So subscriber is the base role in WordPress. It allows them to manage and edit their own personal profile. They can view content on the site front end, and you can also set things up like restrict uh, blog post commenting to logged in users only. So if I check this box, I kept my default role subscriber, which is exactly what you want, and I click save changes. Now, when we log out of this site, we'll see a new option here that says register. So this all built into WordPress. Users can register. They will create a username and an email address. So let's see what this looks like when I enter my username here. Uh, we'll be the dogs lover. And we'll be dogs lover at dogs.com. Okay. When I click register, an email is sent to that email address and it will help me set up my password. So let's log into our email here and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, this is the email system. And actually for a local site, all the email comes to one place. So you'll see that there's a new user registration that would come to the admin of the site. And then what's sent to that dog lover who signed up is this email. It's very simple. It says username dogs lover to set your password, visit the following address. So it sends me to this link. It will pre-generate a password for me, a very strong password, and I can click save. Now, if I go to login dogs lover, my password and click login. It'll take me to the back end of the WordPress site uh, where all I can do is edit my user profile. Uh, I can view the dashboard, which will show me just basic WordPress things. And then I could navigate back to the front end of the site. So that's uh, built into WordPress. It was an okay experience, right? We didn't capture any additional profile information about that user. And then they did get kind of a strange, boring email. And then they didn't really uh, have a good experience after login. They were taken into the admin of the WordPress site like, is that what we really want people to do? So I'm going to go through it another way, um, which would be using a membership plugin. And we'll show you how that experience is different. So let me log back in to the admin. I want to disable that anyone can register. For the membership version, you don't want anyone registering through the default WordPress way. So uncheck that box. Uh, the membership plugin I'm the author of, the one I like to use is Paid Memberships Pro. So I'm going to click here. Search for that and install. And after Paymerships Pro installs, we'll activate the plugin and then we'll go through a basic uh, installation setup wizard uh, to create that free user account. So just like with the core WordPress registration, we don't wanna create a registration that requires people to pay. This will be a free setup. So what type of site? Let's just say we're doing a blog site. Uh, we'll generate the plugin pages. I won't be collecting payments and I'm not gonna enter a key. My free level is dog lovers. Submit and continue, um, change a few settings here, show experts. This is what we wanna do. We wanna block the subscriber role users from accessing the dashboard so they don't get to that weird admin screen. We wanna hide the toolbar. I don't need to enable usage tracking and that's it. That's the full setup, the site's ready. So let me click here. I'm just gonna add a user field uh, to capture additional information to show you how that's more flexible. Show the fields at checkout and show on user profile. We'll collect dog name as just a plain text field save changes cool okay so now what people can do is go through and sign up from a membership levels page they can click to create their account information dogs lover two okay uh, 
Oh, that's my information. My dog's name is actually Eden and Nova. I have two dogs and it's actually Nova's birthday. So that was also a free user registration using Paid Memberships Pro. Probably took me three minutes to set that up. Not much longer than the core WordPress version. Uh, after I became a registered user for free, I get a confirmation page. I can view my membership account. I can edit my profile front of, front end of the site. I can view, you know, history of invoices. For this one, it was free. Uh, and then just like before, there is email generated. Um, this is the one sent to the users, a confirmation of what their information was sent, that their membership account is active, and some user information, because I already created my password. There's also a version of this sent to the admin of the site to show them um, that someone had registered, which includes those extra fields. So sometimes people use those fields kind of as qualifiers of people joining or just for other additional information that makes sense. So that was a really brief tutorial to show you two ways you can set up your WordPress site so anyone can register. Version one, we just use core WordPress's uh, setting under settings general, check that box, anyone can register. And then with just a little bit more effort, you can craft a membership type experience, even for just a free user account using paid memberships pro and give people a little bit better experience better custom fields for you as admin. And now I have the ability as the admin to restrict access to things of my, to members of my free level, whether that's blog content, events, courses, all kinds of stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Kim Coleman from Paid Memberships Pro. Check out the link in description uh, for how to download Paid Memberships Pro for free. You can set it up on any new or existing WordPress site. I hope you have a great day.